liking, subscribing, and all that jazz. It is a beautiful Friday morning here in beautiful Merritt, British Columbia. Hope everybody is doing well and uh, seated well because buckle up, we are going on a bumpy ride. Yeah, seeing things happening all over the place and seeing how this engineered, so to say, uh, uh, the best way to put it is man-made uh, collapse or man-made persecution of us via taxation, via economics, via everything, right? We got D. Trent in the house. Good morning. Happy Friday morning. I got an hour to open the store and I said, what a better time to do a live stream. Tomorrow, Mike in the Night on Odyssey, where we speak freely. Don't forget to join us on there on Odyssey. The show is taking off and getting really, 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 really um, viewed. Uh, people are abandoning all kinds of platforms uh, in search of the truth. And if you want the truth, you're not going to find it on YouTube. You can't. They, they're not allowed. YouTube's platform isn't designed. Is uh, Bank of Canada going to five, uh, f uh, f uh, 50 uh, or 100 on September 7th? Uh, I, I, they're going to have to go more than that, basis points. That's not a lot. They're going to have to. They've done this before, four or five years ago, where they started raising rates slowly to curb inflation. And then they had to slash them back, right? They have to go big or go, or go home, right? We got Paul Potato. Is that Paul Potato? Yeah. It's Paul Potato in the house. Woo! All right, joining us this morning. I'm going to throw some coffee on. You know, I don't know about you guys, but there's actually a coffee shop across the street from my store that I didn't know existed. That shows how much I... No, I knew it was there. I just... I'm going to go there and grab a coffee today and uh, support local. I didn't... You know, I said, yeah, just go pick up some coffee once in a while, you know? So, yeah. So... It's going to be a bumpy ride, folks, and I'm um, getting the final stages of my solar done. I'll keep you guys posted on that, on how that's going and how it's been a roller coaster of a ride getting it done. But it's it's coming done. It's it's going to be done probably this week or next week. So we're going to have um, yeah, we're going to have the uh, we're going to have it all set up and ready to go. And I'm uh, very excited for you know harnessing power, saving power for the winter. And uh, I guess, I don't know, moving into the next, moving ahead on things, you know. Um, we've been having a lot of troubles finding anything that's CSA approved, that's approved for Canada. Because I'm going to make an independent video on this, of my solar prison, the solar prison that I'm in, that Canada doesn't approve. I can't go buy an inverter for my house, a solar inverter. Be I, I, can't, I can't. They don't exist a CSA approved for the general public to buy. Yeah, nothing CSA approved. They, they're, they're made in Canada, assembled in America, assembled in Canada, made in Canada, manufactured in Canada, shipped from Canada, but CSA won't approve anything that's under the guidelines for the solar company, the solar companies that they choose to be the front men and they give you those grants in Canada, those, those solar grants. You wonder why a, 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 an average citizen can't get their hands. They can get their hands on solar inverters, but nothing CSA approved. And that's done on purpose. Because we have two airlines, two cell phone companies, two internet providers, two, 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 one insurance company where I am. That's how bad it is. That's how bad the control is here in Canada. I was looking at a solar inverter. That's legal in every country in the world except Canada. Canada's the only country that doesn't allow it. But the whole world does. And that's how bad things are getting here on the ground in Canada. I'm in a solar prison. I'm going to make an independent video on this. Explaining, discussing what's happening. Why the average citizen can't go buy an inverter for their solar power. Well, people said, Mike, go, go to your solar shed. You bought your inverters at a local hardware store locally in Canada, and it's made in Canada. So I walk over to my solar shed. Nothing CSA approved because it's mafia. It's all mafia. 
and they don't want the average person to install their own power, period. And that's why they're going to ban solar, and I'm telling you. They're telling us to go green, but they're secretly banning solar from the average citizen. You can't believe that. You can't make this stuff up. You can't make this up. That's how bad it's getting. Uh, in, in, in Dottomable, Yogi says, wow, that's crazy. Yeah. I can't. So, I'm going to test you guys on this. Go ahead and find me a solar, a solar inverter in Canada that's CSA approved. That I could just go buy it online or order it from a company or whatever. You can't. Unless you want to buy seven year, eight year old technology that's quadruple the price because it's been already saying that uh, CA, C, CSA Mafia has already got their hands on it and approved it. They're destroying us in every... I wish... I, I don't want to bring you guys down with this solar prison that I'm in, but you guys would be floored if you knew how deep I went and the companies I spoke to in California and, and the last week in, 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 what was it, in New Hampshire and all the different companies I've been speaking to. Not solar installers and going on, you know, and charging you 50 grand to put solar on your house. Not those guys. I'm talking about why is Canada so blocked from its citizens so blocked. So if you could find me a CSA approved inverter that's allowed, that I could buy as a citizen and put it in my house and not have any problems, go ahead. Send me a link below. You're going to send me links, and then I'm going to say, well, I spoke to that guy there too. That's not CSA approved. And then I spoke to this guy at this inverter company. That's not CSA approved. Canada has total control over everything that we do. Oh, we need to go solar. We need to go green. No, we don't. No, we don't. They're pushing us. To these limits and destroying us on purpose and they're doing this on purpose so that we have to go through a solar company so we can get our government grant and the solar company basically makes thirty forty thousand dollars in profit so you see where we're going with this it's all protectionism canada has two airlines two cell phone companies to everything and that's why we are not free in this country because we are not free to do as we please without harming, you know, as long as we're not harming others. Oh, but the CSA there is to protect you. No, it's all a mafia. When they don't approve technology that's going to help people in their homes so the average person could just buy it and do it themselves, we got ourselves a problem. But Canada is not a free country, right? Nope, it's not. D10, D Trent is saying, I live in Canada. Mike is telling the truth. Yeah. And they get us with property tax. They get us with fines. They get us with everything humanly possible to make our lives miserable. As miserable as humanly possible. The people living in Haiti, Cuba, Brazil, Argentina, whatever, outside, uh, outside the English-speaking world, a lot of them are more free than we are. Do you know why? Because they're not indebted. They're not indebted slaves. Luckily, I took on no debt ever. I mean, I have, okay, I bought that solar battery, that 48-volt uh, battery that I bought for my house. Um, and I'm going to pay it when the bill arrives, right? But, but mind you, it's something that's going to save me in the long run or probably save my life. Who knows how, how this winter is going to play out. And like I said to you guys, we got this window. We got this window. November, December, January, February, March in the Northern Hemisphere. If you could get those through those months this winter, because they have all the cards right now. They have them all. And they could play them at any time. If we could get through, through those months, then you're going to see in the spring people, uh, you know, turning their backyards into, in, into gardens. You're going to start to see a big changes, right? And people say no to government control, no to government um mandates no to government because it's just sickening what's happening yeah high corporate taxes it's yeah so high corporate taxation so here we go guys what's going on here we go u.s approves of ukraine striking crimea 
Labor action hits London uh, London tube as UK transportation network grids to a halt. EU nat gas soars to record high as gas gas Gazprom announces new halt to flows. Quite uh, uh, quiet quitting. Are you doing only what's necessary at work and no more? So people are quite quitting. That's a nice way to put it. Uh, no, that's an ad. Putin warns Macron large-scale catastrophe looms in the Ukraine uh, Ukraine nuclear plant. We covered that on Mike in the Night. Elon Musk reacts to border crisis saying uh, lacking of media attention is strange. Yeah, we've been covering this on Mike in the Night, guys. You could, you could find these on older episodes of Mike in the Night of the southern border and what we'll be covering during the peak of the plant. You, you know what? The, uh, the you know what? During the peak, the amount of people just coming in. And stock uh, uh, stock extend losses yield spikes after recession comments from Fed's bark in. And Apple discloses new security flaw that can allow attackers to take complete control over iPhones, iPads, and iMacs. Thank God I'm not with these guys. I'm just with Android. I mean, nothing's safe. Nothing is safe. But I just I just don't trust these lefty companies. You know what I'm saying? Velo uh, velocity's back and it's taking inflation with it. There it is right there. Central bankers should be careful what they wish for. After years of trying to arrest the fall of velocity of money, it is finally on the rise again. So there it is, money velocity. Uh, Evergon attempts to play peacemaker between Zelensky and Putin. So there's a lot going on there. This is Indian news here. What are they reporting? P Putin agreed to send... Uh, a, uh, I -E -I -A -E -A mission to Zafra, Zafria nuclear plant. So there's Macron, the illegally elected person. No one voted for that guy, but he still won the election because he was the president during 2019. The 2019 Gilles de Jean protests in France in 2018, 2019 that went on for 50, 60, 70 weeks was to get this guy out. But he just re got reelected. It's all BS. It's all BS. All right. What's going on here? We got... Uh, right on. I'm o I am I am Oceanfront. I see you. Uh, Rigger is saying... Uh, sweet. Uh, Angie, Angie Rainbow is saying, stay safe, Mike. All medications will be a big problem in the near future. Canada produces a few... Import medication all in China. Oh, elected, elected, LOL, typo. Woo! Yeah, it's Friday morning, guys. It's a beautiful day. It's a longer day. I work till 6 uh, on Fridays here at the shop. So if you're in the area and you want to come down and check me out, uh, come on down and uh, see me here at 1925 Colchina Avenue here in Merritt, British Columbia. I'm just taking a peek outside. It's 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 it's. It, I'll show you guys. It's a bit of overcast this morning. We got a bit of overcast here in Merritt, BC. There's my downtown. There's my one stoplight on the corner there. We don't got many stoplights. We got two stoplights, I think, in the down in the downtown area here, and one on the hill. But there it is, right there. There's the store. Your Merritt Toys and Games. But here it is. Here, just chilling out. What more can I say? I'm top billing. And I'm your little store owner, business owner, for years now. And, you know, feeding my family, taking care of my family, progressing, trying to do the best that I can in every situation possible. And, um, yeah, going through this solar prison nightmare. And it's all done on purpose. It's all, it's all, all of it. All of it is mafia, Canadian mafia, the Canadian government mafia that's all involved with it. All of it. It's all mafia. And they're coming for us in any way possible. What's the store's name? I need Battletech stuff. I don't have any Battletech. I got War Machine for War stuff. 
Don't have any battle tech though. Battle tech uh, haven't had in a while. Uh, that says uh, 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 rigor mortis is saying that. Um, uh, shipping is kind of expensive for us. That's why we stopped. Like everything's gotten to a point where I'm shut down on every front. Uh, they added the GST and PST uh, where the government, where eBay collects on the behalf uh, of the Canadian government. Because I could use that GST to offset some of my expenses here in the store. Can't do that anymore. We're in so much trouble. Then the price of shipping went up again. That basically shut us down uh, for shipping items. Everything is... Uh, uh, 40k refugees, no. Everyone everyone went to look up War Machine, War Machine Hordes. That was the uh, refuge uh, 12 years ago, and it's still big. We still play War Machine. The... the uh, the gaming store here in Gibson's is not doing well. Oh, sorry to hear, man. Uh, it's sad to see small business, you know, have a tough time. Angie's saying time to get out, Mike. I don't know. To where? To what? To, you know, you got the midterms coming down in the States. You got all kinds of stuff happening. Europe is uncertain. I don't know what's going on anymore. That's why I'm going to sit tight. I, I'm harvesting my garden slowly in the next couple of weeks. I'm getting the final stages of my solar installed. I'm getting things done. And I'm moving, progressing forward, and I, I really hope to God that, again, we could, we'll get through this winter, you know what I'm saying? Can I get to Asia? I mean, I'm pretty sure I could get to the, we built a house in the Philippines. We have a house in the Philippines that we built for like six, seven U, 7 thousand U.S. dollars. You could watch the video series on my channel, my 6K or 7K house in the Philippines. With poured concrete and rebarb and metal roof and really well made concrete floors and everything. Like a really well made home. I think it's two bedrooms, one bath, and uh, a gigantic kitchen and a gigantic uh, living room. Uh, hurricane windows and hurricane sliding doors. All for like 7,000 American. Literally 7,000 American. Uh, and it's, it's a well built, hand, like handmade. Well, obviously everything's handmade, but it's a really well made home, right? So I wanted to go there and check it out, you know. Whoa, Angie Rainbow sent me prayers from Australia. Ten Australian dollars. Thank you so much. We're all in this together, guys. It, it's all of us. We're all here. Like, we're all... We need to talk... Uh, we need to talk uh, ourselves through this. We need to get through this November, December, January, February, March paradigm we're getting into the northern hemisphere right now in australia they're um in their they're going into spring in about four weeks in australia so they're getting out of their winter season so you're going to start to see protests uprises and more new lockdowns in australia because the the governments nobody has confidence in their governments anymore just like in 2019 go back to episodes of mike in the night from 2019 you'll see what we're, we've been talking about there's no confidence in governments anymore we had anna key call in from australia uh to to mike of the night to, no not this mike of the night but the last mike of the night to actually break down what is happening and how australia is falling fast right so we've been covering australia for years oh someone said i'm copying another channel i'm copying another channel of talking about australia as being the testing ground in new zealand I got videos 10 years ago talking about that, and they're still up. I got videos talking about the housing prices in Australia, the, the mismanagement of funds through governments, the money laundering. I've been covering the middle class across every English-speaking country for the last 10 years and connecting the dots. I started saying that. All the shit you hear on other, it all comes from a source, right? So, wow, I got 52 people watching. That's a lot of people. Yeah, seven dollars for celery. Yeah, I'm ex infantry RCR fourth and second. If things go crazy, get yourself in touch with 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 a veteran. A veteran will help, right? Yep, that's why you gotta communicate. You gotta network. You gotta talk to people. You know, you gotta. 
you have to support each other. Because this is what they wanted the Great Divide. Because November, December, January, February, and March in the Northern Hemisphere is the window that we need to be prepared. Mentally, spiritually, every astronomically, scientifically, everything you need to be prepared. Angie is saying we can't afford veggie or meat. There you go, right there. There you go. And that's coming out of Australia. It's all government mouse spending, government poor decision making, government, government. It all goes to a hierarchy and it's all poisonous and destructive and killing us at the home. Back 10 years ago, I didn't care what governments did because it wasn't affecting me at my home. The only thing that people were, were talking about during the housing crisis in 2010, 2011, 2012, where people were leaving the big cities in Canada and, and people exodusing the blue states of America and people living the big cities in Australia and New Zealand and the UK. During that time, what everyone was fighting over was global warming. Oh, no, Florida's going to be underwater in two more years. Oh, this and that, and none of that happened. They got us, and that's how they get us. They get us fighting over crap. And then what happened after the whole global warming fiasco cooled off? They went into Donald Trump, and then they started dividing families at the house. Then what, what happened after Donald Trump? Well, the, the uh, they pulled the trigger on the you-know-what, and then now the war in the Ukraine. They need... To keep something going as long as they can so they could stay seated in power so they could destroy our lives. We got Simon Shaw in the house. So uh, uh, Angie is saying I'm in Western. Uh, are you in Perth? She's in Western. Yeah. Are you in Perth area? Heat, shelter, power, defense, dry goods, medical, including surgical kit and manual and a way to move it all. Uh, make your own fate, just my opinion, but uh, I'm paranoid. See, Rob Padley? Honk, honk. Yes. And all these people in government levels, it doesn't matter, even at the, at the medium to low levels, are making 100, 140000 plus per year. They all are. Off the public tits, off of my taxation, my property tax, my cost of... My cost of living, they're living the good life off of our backs. And we outnumber them. Like, well, I don't know. The public sector has grown in Canada. I'm not sure. I know in the blue states of America, I know if you go to Illinois, uh, they have like four or five layers of government. Okay? So, like, those states are, are in a lot of trouble because they have all of this public sector pensions and stuff they need to fund. Those blue states are in a lot of trouble, but they're bringing that shit to the red states. You see where I'm going with this? So they're bringing that poison to the red states, and that's destroying us at the household level. It's killing us. The world is a depression, says Alan. Uh, Alan, sorry, sorry, Angie Rabo. Sorry, I'm, I'm. The 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 writing is so tiny on the screen here. Have you seen the numbers on the credit? Uh, credit card debt in Canada. Yeah, we. I, I think I made... No, I made a video on the American credit card debt because it's starting to get out of control. The Canadian credit card debt for unsecured debt is pretty high. But a lot of Canadians got by the last 10 years by using their homes as ATM machines so they could feed their families. Right? So we basically out upbid our homes to foreign investing and to get the locals in they started creating first time home buyer loans lowering interest rates creating all this bizarro shit so people could get in and buy a basic home a basic home for 1.7 million dollars right so rigor mortis is saying my my 19 year old is still at home and has no intention to move as she can't afford it and honestly, without her contributing to our rent, we would be in trouble. So that's what's happening, right? Back in the day, I'm pretty sure a lot of people. Uh, yeah, England is doing loan uh, is doing loan for food. Yeah. 
They have more. I even made a video th uh, three years ago before the you know what, how there's more food banks in England than there is. There's more food banks in England than there is McDonald's, Starbucks, and what was the other one? McDonald's, Starbucks. There was one more that they're combined. There's more, right? There's more home, uh, sorry, food banks than there is of fast food chains. And, and three, I forgot what the third one was. It was McDonald's, Starbucks, and I think it was Quizno. I can't remember what it was. So you see how it's coming, guys. You see how it's fronting out, right? They're fronting it out for us. And we're in the driver's seat, and you better buckle up. Mate, we are prepped. That's right, Angie. But but again, in Australia, you guys are lucky. You're going into your into your spring, so it's going to be a little bit a little bit you know. But then you got fire season now. It's a it's a thing now, because they stopped controlled burning across Australia for years, and then you got this massive fire two two and a half years ago. You see where you see where this is going. You see how this is curtailing. You see how they're setting this up, one after another after another. Government passed laws to make that legal, and they're 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 t talking about preppers, how they're you know hoarders, and 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 we talked about that before. I'm gonna have a ton of rabbits soon. I'm close to you. I'll we'll do trades. Yeah, my mom could cook rabbit. My mom's Portuguese. They used to go rabbit hunting all the time and bring home 12, 13 rabbits. And and my mom knows how to skin them, bag them, freeze them, cook them in 50 different ways. The best. But, uh, yeah, just walking around aimlessly here at the shop, talking to you guys on this beautiful Friday morning. Where the heck is my water? And um, it's kind of warm in here. I'm not going to turn on the AC today because we're starting to slowly cool down, folks. We are cooling down. We are cooling down, and um, that's that. We are cooling down uh, slightly. So it's going to be good for us. So uh, one man forestry management is a big pet peeve of mine, as it doesn't exist. I mean, everyone in BC knows how much... Uh, deadfall is out there when we we are still doing forestry management it wouldn't be yep they have to cut that stuff they have to cut stuff so they can raise our property taxes more and hire more people to, to, in the government instead of clearing dry brush and actually doing their jobs to hire more people to sit in offices to find ways to get money more money from us that's what they do they hire these people uh, working for the government with these cushy pensions and everything to find out ways to steal money from us that's it oh, nice cold lemon water It's tough life, boss. Yeah, the people in Western countries are debt slaves. The people in, you know, people that have their own, the people in Latin American countries or Brazil and Portuguese America and countries like that, they need to maintain governments out of their lives. We're poor or we're medium or we're this or we're living an okay life. Leave us alone. Don't do what they did in the Western countries and start federalizing the housing market, federalizing transportation, federalizing the big box stores. What, Mike? The big box corporations aren't federalized. Yeah, they are. They're getting taxed to death. So they're owned. Okay. If you are not financially responsible, then we are screwed. There are some who are so broke and poor that they can't even afford the dollar store. Yeah, it's getting to that, folks. Someone's telling me to get to Asia as soon as possible. Man, me, I would just go back to my place of birth. I would go back to my place of origin. I'm from the Azores. I just go back to the Azores. A pile of islands off the coast of uh, 400 miles west of Africa. Uh, I would just go to the Azores. It's a Portuguese, uh, you know, autonomous region. I, I would just go there 
and and done. Problem solved. Your rank's beautiful in the Azores. Yeah, Aussies are in so much debt, we are stuffed. And I've been saying that for so many years, and I made it clear, but nobody listened. Australia's taking on too much debt. Australia this, Australia that. Same thing with Canada. Blue States of America. Joe Biden. Uh, an America win. Now what? You know, like, Amerifornia is coming. We've been, this is something that's old news, but something that never got out. I wish there was more, I wish there was a way to get the, the message out back in the day. Um, all right, let's see Australia. Uh, Australia is going to bankruptcy. Let me see what I got here. Uh, insane thing. I'm trying to see if I could, uh. I even warn people. I made very specific videos. Australia housing. Do not buy anything. Uh, three years ago. Australian housing crisis. Migration or immigration. Four years ago. Look at this video I made. Will Australia exist in 30 years? Because I already knew. I already knew what was happening. I already knew. Australia's financial storm. Australia housing crashing. Australian how, uh, crisis, Australia, whose fault is it anyways? The blame game. Yeah. So, it's something we've been, we've been covering it all. We've been talking it all about, let's look, New Zealand. I love New Zealand. Watch this. New Zealand. Housing. Poverty crisis triggered by Chinese investors parking money. Young families leaving before the you-know-what. Before the you-know-what. The ban on foreign investors is working, so it just keeps going on and on. It's a trap. New Zealand housing, do not buy and nothing. Everything is fake in the real estate markets three years ago and change. So it's been across the Commonwealth and uh, something Chinese to take over Canada and Australia, New Zealand, and lastly, the USA by 2024, five years ago. So it's something that um, I've been trying to wake people up to because this is massive. All the upper enchilants will take the payouts. And if they don't take the payouts, they lose their jobs. <sighs> New Zealand is screwed. My best mate lives there. Roger Mortis... P F P V and where do they get the potatoes and wheat in the Azores? You can't live long on cocktails. No, no, no. There's a lot of farming. There's lots of tobacco farms there. Pineapple fishing, lots of fishing. Uh, no, there's there's small potato. Like you make your own potato farm. I'm not gonna go there to go and buy someone's potatoes. I'm gonna go there and make my potato farm. My yams, my Whatever I could grow there all year, right? My citruses that I could grow, right? I could even have try take a hand at making my own honey. I don't know. Just you'll have all the spare time I need to do it, right? But um, yeah, just wanted to. Mike, do you prep? I've been prepping for ten years, man. I've been, uh, at times I rotate through some of the stuff. We all, we're all preppers in a way. We all, anyone that's on this already knows and understands. So someone says, well, okay, it means you could survive there. Yeah, of course. Uh, they have uh, 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 wheat uh, 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 windmills and stuff there that, that create uh, wheat and uh, what was it? What's the other one? The processed wheat. And I think they do another one there too. Um, uh, I love I love sea greens. Harvest them here. Also mussels, crab, sea snails. Yeah. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, let's type in, let's see what we got for, let me see what, uh, let's type in Chicago, like random cities, Chicago, let's see what we got. 
uh, on the channel. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Public sector. Look at that. Look at this video I made. Public employers across America cost taxpayers nearly one trillion. And that was before the you know what. Wow. Let's see what else. Uh, I don't have much. You type in Chicago, you know, Mike of the Night, uh, Chinese takeover. That's five years ago. I'm just trying to see if I can find uh, China puts cap on capital outflow. Canadian housing market to take a dive. UK housing crisis four years ago. Oh, see, housing crisis in the USA is just getting started. Watch and see what's going on. And that was four years ago. And that's the blue states of America pushing into the red states at full force, right? But, woo, it is Friday morning. What time is it? I got to open my store here in about 10 minutes. Uh, the best fish is pork sausage. Yep. Someone's asking if Buddy is from Russia. From the Ukraine. I had someone in the store yesterday from Poland uh, doing a, a drive through the province here where I live here in British Columbia. And when she told me, when I told her how much I pay in property tax here, she was floored. She couldn't believe it. I'm like, she's like, for this small place? I'm like, this small town, yeah. This is what I pay in property tax. 4300 bucks. And then garbage pickup and water and all that other crap. Wow. You know how much, how much do you, she goes, you know how much I pay in Warsaw in Poland a year for property tax? How much? Nine dollars a year she pays for property tax. Nine dollars a year. I'm like, nine euros? She's like, yes, nine euros. So that's four, 13 Canadian, 14 Canadian dollars. Yes. Nine euros a year in property tax for her home. Yeah. I heard someone in Spain uh, 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 pays about 11 euros a year just outside of Madrid. Uh, I spoke, you know, because I make videos, so people message me and they tell me. They even send me screenshots um, of what, what they're paying and where they're paying and how much they're paying. They, when I make a video, people message me. They get in touch with me like, hey, Mike, I was watching you. I'm from Croatia. I pay $6.50 Euros a year for property tax, right? So, yeah. Where are all your customers? Dead season? No, I open at, I open at 11 in the morning. It's 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 quarter to eleven, so I'm going to be opening up in a few minutes. Yesterday was slammed. Lots of tours, tour buses coming through town. Um, yeah, buckle up, put your strap on, because we're we are giving it to you. Raw dog says Ben Savage. Kiki Call says Monterey, Mexico, in the house. Yeah, how much do you pay for property tax in in Monterrey, Mexico? In Monterrey, how much do you pay there? Por los taxes de lo, de lo, de lo propiedad. Yo quiero saber cuánto tú pagas. Me gustaría saber. Por año. California has the best solar. Three grand shipped. Ready to install. Yeah, we can't do that. In, in Canada, nothing is CSA approved. We have to go through a solar installation company. Charges us 50 grand. And then we get a $5,000 government grant in return for doing it through a solar company. That's all mafiaized. All mafiaized. We can't buy solar. In, nothing CSA approved. We could buy solar in Canada, but nothing is CSA approved. So it hasn't been approved by the Canadian mafia. So that's we have two airlines. One, I have one car insurance company. One company. We have again. We 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 have two cell phone companies. Two internet providers. Um, Canada is a protectionism nightmare. I went to go check on my solar shed, my solar shed, the solar inverters that I bought from a company in Canada, here in Canada, I went in person to buy a solar inverter 
from a hardware store in Canada, it's not CSA approved. They won't approve anything to help people here in Canada. They won't do it. Uh, for a small, medium house, decent location, yeah. How much do you pay for uh, property tax there? Okay, so she says I pay you what thirty-five U.S. dollars per year. So that what what what's that three four hundred pesos a year in property tax? Yeah. So we we in Canada I pay forty-three hundred bucks for two stop. I have two stoplights, and I know Monterey has more than two freaking stoplights and a lot of more things to do in Monterey and more parks and more uh, different zoning areas zoned areas for different industrial for everything. I live in a town where they claim there's 7,000 people, where they claim it's 7,000 people. Guess what? I pay $4,300 for property tax. Yeah. 1,200 for garbage pickup, and my, they're gonna meter our water, so I pay two, $300 a month for water. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, people are fleeing cities. Yeah, I've been telling people get out of the cities. Oh, Spooky said we played close to 4000 and we still have to pay garbage pickup $75 per month and bi-weekly pickup. There it is right there. So, Kitka Kiwi, Kitka Kiwi is saying it's very cheap. It's like 800 pesos. Okay, 800 pesos is 35. It's changed a lot since I've been last to Mexico. I lived in Mexico for two years. Yeah, uh, C CRA is going uh, going to go after crypto holders for tax evasion. That's uh, Canada Revenue Agency. They're coming to destroy everybody. D10 saying $4,500 a year, what he pays for property tax, and they taint the drinking water. Wow. We got Remy stuff in the house. Good to see you, buddy. No water metering. So so in Mexico, in Monterrey, there's no water metering or paying extra uh, for garbage collection, security, or anything else. I just pay like 35 US dollars a year for housing taxes. Yeah. That's just this, you know, you pay your land tax and you're good to go. Here, you need to get a full-time job to pay the taxes. And the hospital is closed here. You can't call it an H anymore. It's not, you can, you're not allowed to call it an H. So, Mike, do, Mike, do you, do, do regret not buying more houses when you move to your town? Nah, it's headaches. It's headaches. It's taxes. It's, it's one thing after another. It's one drama after another. And that I just want to kind of, you know, I'm happy with what I got going. I'm very happy with what I have going and I'm not I'm not regretting I, I bought a house to raise my family I didn't buy a house to make money right so anyways guys what time is it here I gotta woo Angie stop sending me money that's enough Angie just sent me enough money to pay uh, the other person uh, what's her name here in Monterrey Mexico to pay her property tax off for the whole year in Monterrey Mexico for what she pays uh, Kiki Kiwi she sent me enough money to pay her property tax now for the year. Uh, that's how bad it is where we are. That's how bad things are getting where we are. Thanks for the uh, 10 Australian dollars. Um, have you ever reached 100 in your life in your live stream, Mike? Yeah, I, but sometimes I do. Uh, like once, 107, 110, and then it gets throttled back. YouTube says, oh, this guy, this guy's not pouring gravy down his pants. This guy's not pouring gravy down his pants, so we need to throttle him back right away. Because what he's talking about here is too dangerous. People don't need to know that property tax in Monterrey, Mexico is 35 US dollars a year. Because if people figure that out, they're not going to live in Canada and pay for all the the government layers of government we have here sitting in offices pushing pencils all day making a hundred and ten to two hundred thousand dollars a year while we are on the ground trying to make it and feed our families while we get audited by the Canada Revenue Agency up our up our butts I 
I will send you just another to say, no, you don't have to send. It's okay, guys. I'm fine. God bless you, Mike, says Amos Jaramilla Jr. Canadians love to pay so much money to live in a freezer for half the year. Yep. Well, where I live, when Mark, oh, where I live, yeah, I'm in the west western part of Canada, the west coast. Where I live, March is spring. Like we're rotor tilling, and, and into April we're preparing things. We're, uh, you know, we're okay. We're, we're we're driving our convertibles around. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, and then come November it gets cool, and then December gets colder, and then January, February is the coldest two months, and then March again is is we're back in we're back in business, right? <sighs> Yeah, but it depends where you are in Canada, right? Yeah, God bless everybody there. God bless everybody. Pouring gravy down your pants. Yeah, that's something I've been saying on the channel for years. If I'm pouring gravy down my pants on YouTube, I'll get promotion. I'll get licensing. They'll pe Somebody will send a basket to my house with $2,000 in it. Nice, crisp bills. If you pour gravy down your pants, because that's what people need to see nowadays, right? So, uh, Lower Low Scratcher saying, Network 126 curses all the time. YouTube wouldn't shut down his channel since YouTube felt sorry for him since he is homeless. Uh, since he is homeless, have uh, a job to live in a car. Lower Low says, Already invested, mate. Um, Mike looks very stressed. Least I could do. Lower Low says, uh, uh... Oh, oh, I'm not stressed. I'm just pissed. That we're paying premium for nothing. I have a friend in Beverly Hills that pays a lot less property tax than I do. I have another person that I know that's been watching me for years. Thank you, Angie. Angie Rainbow sent me another 10 Australian dollars. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It all adds up in the end. It all adds up, and I'm, and I'm grateful and humble. Uh, Angie, you can just join the channel. There's a thing at the bottom of the channel where it says join channel, and I want to thank everyone that's joined this channel. Uh, I didn't know my channel. Like, I, I knew I had it, but I didn't. I never got to see it. You could People could join the channel for $1 or $2 a month ongoing, and that helps out too. You know what I'm saying? Everything helps out in the end. Since you got solar panel, you can start mining Bitcoin and Dogecoin since it is... A great market. You know what? I might do something now that my, my I finalize my solar. I may do something like that. I may do something like that. Why not? Because farming is going to be illegal and outlawed soon. Everything's going to be illegal. So we might as well find a way to farm something else and get ahead in life. You know? We're going to get to a point where it's not about the fancy stuff in life in the West. And we're going to get to a point where it's just, how do I feed my family today? That's where it's going to get to, folks. Anyways, I am, my phone is dying. I'm at, oh, i got to open in five minutes, folks. So I'm going to turn on my open sign. So if you guys want to come and check me out, I'll be here all day till 6 p.m. I'm going to turn on my open sign here at the shop. Unlock my doors. And give you guys a... Uh, a quick there's the store right there and yeah so got the open sign on we're good to go and there's a lot of people a lot of tourists coming through town this week so and um, we're good to go I think I'm gonna leave my door open if anybody wants to come and see me I will build a greenhouse if farming is illegal outside Mike yeah, I'm thinking of, yeah, like, we have to, you know, but it's just the cost of doing things are going to get more and more expensive, and the cost of uh, ma maintenance and certain things are going to get more and more expensive, and they're just going to fine us to death, and they're going to find a way to tax us even more if they have to. Anyways, guys, I'm going to take care of business here. Get a, I'm going to go across the street and buy a coffee. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Mike Martin's here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the donations. Thanks for joining the channel too. I have spoken.